Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I am part of a fun blog hop as we celebrate the French release by Simon Says Tam. There are lots of giveaways to win along the blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog to find all about it. Before I start with my card, I'm going to show you just a few favorites from this release. So the first one is a stamp set, which is called Love and Friendship, with these adorable little uh, girls that if you stamp them next to each other, they look as if they are holding hands. This is called From the Rooftops. You get mountains and uh, buildings along with this peach bubble that you can stamp inside your little sentiment. And here is another favorite. This is called Best Friends with these uh, animals that you can stamp in a row, one on top of the other. There are so many possibilities to create uh, little scenes with them. And this is the koala dye. These are from uh, a collection by Simon Says Stamp, which is full of animals from their picture book collection. And um, they came up with six more animals this time. Uh, I really love them. I kind of collect them. And um, I am going to combine them with this dye from a previous release that gives you a nice um, background with trees for your scenes with those uh, picture book animals. I used the koala dye to cut out the koala pieces out of white cardstock and out of grey cardstock as you can see. Now I will make sure that I won't lose any pieces since I will put everything back together combining the two colors. First I'm going to create my panel. This is going to go on top of my card base. So I'm using those dies to create a little window. I'm placing them one inside the other and I'm going to secure them with some post-it tape and then run them through my die cutting machine. And I have my panel ready to go. Now I'm going to use this die with the trees which I'm going to cut out from this uh, brown cardstock. Now notice that this die cuts out only the trees without cutting out the border so it actually creates a window but since I need this to be at the back of uh, my panel I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors and stick it at the back. For this card I'm going for a clean and simple look so all I'm going to do is to stick those uh, trees at the back to create some uh, interest on the background of my koala and uh, you can definitely cut them out of uh, white cardstock and then use your alcohol markers to add some shading. So this is going to go as a panel on top of my card base and now it's time to assemble my little koala. I am using a scrap piece of paper and I'm adding some uh, tape adhesive on top so that it is easy for me to put everything together. My little koala is going to be grey with uh, white uh, accents so I am picking uh, different pieces and if you notice I have the die just in front of me so it's easy for me to look at it and uh, tell which uh, piece goes where. And as I'm putting my koala together, just to remind you that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. There is also a giveaway on my blog, so for a chance to win a $25 coupon for the Simon Says Stamp online store, make sure to visit and leave me a comment. Now, uh, as you can see, I have already placed uh, pretty much everything. All that's need to do is to add the nose and the eyes. Now, for the nose, I'm just going to color the white uh, piece with my black marker and just place it there. Now, for the eyes, I will not bother with the tiny little pieces. When I finish the card, I'm just going to use my black Nouveau Drops to create his eyes and you will see that later on. Now I'm going to separate this little guy from the scrap paper. All I'm doing is using my scissors around him and you could actually assemble him directly on top of your panel or of your card but just because he is going on top of a window with um, empty space behind him I needed some support and that's why I used this white uh, piece of paper. Now, although I'm going for a clean and simple look today, I still need to add just a touch of blue at the back of my window to complete my little scene. That's why I'm using my blending tool with uh, blue ink. I didn't even bother to bring out my distress inks. I just used the blending tool with whatever was on top of it from a previous use. After all, I didn't need too much. So my window is ready to go. I will have to stamp now my sentiment and for that I'm using the best friends stamp set and I'm going to stamp with uh, extreme black ink on top of my card base and I went with a sentiment that says I like you a lot. 
I have some foam squares at the back of my panel. I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And I have my little window ready to go. All I need to do now is to stick uh, the little koala on top. I am just going to play around and decide where I want him to go. And uh, you can actually uh, customize these little um, cutout images, these little animals, from uh, the picture book collection. You can uh, turn them into girls or boys, you can uh, give them little accessories like party hats or uh, give them balloons to hold or uh, give them flowers and um, lots and lots of ideas. You will see what I'm going to do today. I am planning to give this card to a little girl who loves koalas and that and that's why I'm going to customize this animal and make sure that it looks as if it's a girl. So first of all, I need to add some eyes. For that, I'm using my black Nouveau Drops. Then I'm going to use my glitter pen and add some shine on the nose, just for some extra sparkle on my card. And I have prepared a tiny little flower that um, I have uh, colored, stamped and colored and cut out with my scissors. And I'm going to stick that on top of uh, her head just to embellish her a little bit more. And I'm going to add some eyelashes coming out of her eyes. Make sure that uh, the, the black nouveau drop is uh, dry before you do that. And there are actually so many options. You can even tie a tiny little bow and stick it there. You can give her a scarf with a ribbon. So many different ideas to customize these uh, picture book animals. So my card is ready. I hope you had fun and got inspired to create some lovely cards with those um, cute animals from Simon Says Stamp. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter the giveaway.